Hi, this is Mark with Savage Streaming Productions. We are here at Rialto's in downtown Portland. It's beautiful down here. And I am with uh, Jacqueline, and uh, she is the head instructor manager of Rialto's in downtown Portland. Um, man, how beautiful is this? I actually play in tournaments here on Tuesdays sometimes. Oh, awesome. I know at seven o'clock. Yeah. So, yes. uh, but this place has been around for quite a long time, it right? It has, yeah. Actually, next year is going to be our hundredth year anniversary. It's crazy. That long? Hundred years. Oh Insane. my god. Insane. Yeah. Yeah. We just remodeled it um, too recently, and the upstairs mezzanine area is all remodeled, and we have a third pool table up here and um super super fun super nice well and i feel uh like air conditioning going on yeah. and circulating yes, too and that's all working great too uh, yeah yeah, yeah i remember great, yeah. back in the day where they just had the big fan on you during the yeah, yeah. and uh, that's good they got that fixed and yep. what's kind of nice about here is like if you had a party or a grouping and mm -hmm. you wanted to come down and just kind of hang out like right. upstairs here yes there's, uh, there's a fireplace the uh, flat screen TVs, couches. Yeah, and... there's lots of um, private parties are becoming really popular. Uh, holiday parties, um, football parties, birthdays. Uh, we yeah. have a couple dart boards and um, three pool tables and a poker table. So, so yeah. if you've never been here to Rialto in downtown, uh, obviously you can just Google it. Um, and they're uh, open seven days a week uh, from 11 to 2? To, yeah, 2.30. Yeah. 2 30 yeah. ish um, And it is a great place to play uh, pool. I know I've been down here, like I was saying, for tournaments, and this place gets packed. So yeah. uh, I've had almost everything on the menu i can tell you their steak here personally yeah, just speaking for myself yeah. oh, their food is awesome <laughs> here and their wait staff i forget her name uh they are on it they yeah. will make sure that you are, are taken care of here so if you've never been here um come down come check out rialto's because it's beautiful uh in it here is, yeah. yeah so Let's uh, kind of talk about you. Uh, okay. Man, you do so much for pool. Um, I know that you took my $20 last time. I haven't, <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> I, I haven't forgotten that. Uh, and so, anyways, so uh, how did you get started in pool? What, what made you want to become a pool player? Um, I, I played ever since I was about three years old, and um, my dad originally got me into it, and uh, he, that's what he would do as his main hobby when he wasn't working and uh he was actually in charge of nuclear waste <laughs> and oh wow <laughs> it's not controversial <laughs> oh, well, well, um, okay. <laughs> and uh he got me into it but he's a very great teacher of fundamentals and also a mental game and just super analytical um being an engineer and um i have a biology degree but i originally when i graduated i was going to be a pharmaceutical sales rep but okay, I, hold, I, on. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Not only is she pretty, uh, she can play pool, and I'm way underdressed. And I blame my wife because I asked her, I was like, man, should I wear like a tie or something? Because I know how Jackie dresses. And I was like, now I feel really like I went to a ball in, in jeans. So, uh, no, and no you this is you have cool stuff, though. Your apparel is like awesome. I can't wait to see the fall line. Yeah, and I was on the phone with them actually earlier today. So I got some women's long sleeves cool. uh, with pink layer. but anyways yeah, the, no, cool. um do you um so your dad got you into pool um do you think you coming from more of a technical background actually helped you in pool because being a, kind of a, from the engineer background so you kind of see the pool table differently yeah i think it helps a lot like to be analytical about it but also my mom was an artist and that actually also helps almost just as much being able to visualize and um, be creative on the pool table and see different angles and the feel on the right side of your mm. brain is just as Im important as left side being analytical. So so I was really fortunate to have <laughs> I just got done reading. <laughs> well, it's funny that you say that because I just got done reading the book, The Inner Art of Tennis, and they talk about self oh, wonder yeah, and self too. And so using your right brain, your left brain, and not allowing the right brain just to overtake the left part of right. your brain. Um, and somebody, uh, Ray, 
Cunningham, actually, uh, in 2016, we were down for the coast and we were kind of talking and uh, he says something to me that I kind of never really forgot that he's like, you know, pool is kind of like a dance. Mm -hmm. And it kind of, everybody dances kind of differently. Right. And it's kind of like, pool is like an art because not everybody shoots the same. I mean, obviously the fundamentals are kind of the same. The mechanics should be kind of uh, a foundation statement. But the um, rhythm is different. But it is an art how you get Mm -hmm to like i know simian chang who is like one of the number one female players in the world she's very mechanical like a mm-hmm. lot of the chinese players yeah. uh then you take like some of the women pool players um they kind of go things about it differently right mm-hmm. so um what how do you go about the pool table do you kind of just play like line pool or do you play like oh i'm gonna come off three rails and yeah i mean there there's a, i think when you're practicing you want to be more analytical and really take your time and and go through kind of a checklist yeah. and it's it's easy to say hard to do but when you're in competition you want to more visualize and be creative and, and just really see the picture instead of analyzing how much you follow through where are your feet which is easy to say hard to do but um that's really what you want to do and you don't really want to be thinking when you're playing right you know so it's it's kind of letting go and letting your habits um and your training take over when you're in competition well we're gonna get into that because we're actually gonna break this down into kind of like three segments because i know people i know i do really want to hear your mindset on how you go about the pool table and doing patterns and stuff but like so i what inspired you to become a professional woman pool player because i mean that's what you do yeah. so what inspired you to do it you know originally after i graduated i always loved pool like i was always kind of obsessed with it and i would drag my friends out to pool halls in high school and college and my girlfriends loved it because there was plenty of guys to play and yeah. they'd meet all kinds of people and then um i so was like oh i'm gonna up sc- guys is that <laughs> always your technical no i'm just, no, I'm just kidding <laughs> it was great it's a great that's another aspect of pool that's awesome you meet so many people from so many backgrounds I it's just amazing it. Yeah. it really is um and so originally i after i graduated uh in boulder in colorado i'm like i'm just going to take one year and train and i train with tom ross um and just take this on full time and i luckily and well with lots of work too won the bca um back long time ago i'm old uh, <laughs> she and then look i old kind though. of that's the, that's I, the most important i don't want to say the year <laughs> <laughs> and then uh just kind of never left it um yeah. i've done other things too but pool's always been my main passion and uh and then got to play on the international pool tour which was so awesome what an amazing experience that's like IPT, IPT, right? yeah, yeah which was so great and uh unfortunately um that that's not around anymore but uh, after that, I ended up moving from Colorado to California and started teaching, which I had no idea how much I would enjoy that and started doing free classes and creating a curriculum that was like a compilation of all my instructors mm. and um, writing up uh, dif- different books for different courses and diagrams. And, oh, wow. Um, it's just been super rewarding like to see players progress and... Um, it's just been really awesome experience. So, um, w- when you were doing all the lessons and stuff like that, obviously there was levels of frustrations and highs and lows and stuff like that. Um, so you were competing in the IPT. Were you competing, which IPT is a professional level. So you're playing against women pro players too. Yeah. So men and women. Yeah. Men and women. Yeah. So there was only 15 women in it actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like yeah. But it was an awesome experience. It really was.